Good morning, Huskies. We're back with our weekly announcement show. I'm Colin Garcia. And you guys already know who I am. I'm Shanice Hopkins, and I'm back. I know you guys have missed me. So we will start off with our college visits. On February 25th, OCCC will be here during tutorial. And then on the 26th, OSU will be also visiting during tutorial. So if you're interested, make sure you look into that. Coming up this weekend, the Edmund North Theater Arts Program will be performing the musical Little Shop of Horrors. Let's go to a special package about that. What is up everyone, Mr. Campbell here. This is the portion of the announcements where you're supposed to be seeing a video promoting the spring musical Little Shop of Horrors with a bunch of interviews and shots from rehearsal and it, 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 it didn't get finished. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that, but somebody was supposed to edit over the weekend and it didn't happen. Um, so the important things that you need to know are that the musical is gonna be happening here at M North in the auditorium on Thursday and Friday nights, and also there's gonna be two shows on Saturday, so there's plenty of opportunity for you to come out and see this. Uh, it's gonna be really good. If you want more information about it, or just to keep up with the cast, see what they're doing as well, you can go to Instagram and follow at ENHS Theater Arts. Uh, they post a bunch of really cool content, so make sure you follow them, and make sure that you come out to the musical this weekend. That looks really good. I'm looking forward to it. Quick question for you guys. Are you guys interested in the school newspaper and would want to participate in it? Well, if you said no, hopefully Gracie can persuade you into doing it. Okay. Hey, I'm Gracie. Hi, I'm Kaya. And we're part of the newspaper class, so we're here to talk about the Balto issue. This isn't it, actually. But, but it comes out on the 24th. And you might be in it. There's a lot of fun stories, and um, the freshmen share what it's like to be like their first Balto. And don't forget, you can get an application to join journalism at the library or just email Katie Dupre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else? <laughs> join the newspaper! <laughs> Thank you so much, Gracie. Now let's get back to the announcements. There will be a student of the month ceremony during tutorial on February 25th. Then on February 26th, there will be an SCA meeting at 8 p.m. There will also be a speech, drama, and debate tournament on February 28th through the 29th at UConn. Have you read Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, or Renegades? If you have, we have a package for you Marissa Myers fans. Now let's head to the library for some information about that upcoming visit from author Marissa Myers. exciting things happening here for our Edmund North students here in the upcoming days. Um, one of them being Marissa Meyer is coming to Edmund Memorial on March 6th. She's a big name in YA literature. She wrote the Lunar Chronicles. Um, maybe you've read Cinder. That's pretty much her biggest, um, most popular novel. Um, she is coming to promote a re-release of these novels. She's redone the book covers and she, she wants to promote those and talk with her fans um, and try and get um, more people to buy them once again. Um, so in the library we have an order form that you can come by and pick up. Um, you can order the first three in the Lunar Chronicles are $11 and the last one is $13. Um, if you order them in advance she will sign them. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, we have the opportunity to bus students over to Memorial if they want to go hear her talk. Um, but today is the last day to sign up for that, so you need to check your student email. Um, and there will be a Google form sign up that you can just fill out real quick. It doesn't cost anything to go um, hear her speak. The only cost is if you want to buy the books, but you do not have to buy the books to get to attend the event. We hope you sign up and come. Awesome! Now let's go to sports with Key Van Dillon. To start off sports, there will be cheer and palm auditions on March 25th through the 28th. If you want to try out for the team, you must attend a parent meeting on March 4th. Cheer will be at 6 and palm will be at 7.30 and you and a parent guardian must attend. Baseball season is coming very soon and varsity baseball will play against Shawnee on February 27th at 4 here at North. 
OSSAA Girls Basketball Regional Playoffs start February 27th at 6.30 in the Siberian Gym. Make sure to come and watch our Lady Huskies fight for the championship. Varsity Baseball competes against Santa Fe February 28th here at home, so come and show your support. Our wrestling team competed in the dual state championships two weekends ago. The Huskies qualified for dual state by winning their district for the 12th year in a row. On that Friday, they faced Tulsa Union in the quarterfinals in 149-16 to move on to the semifinals on Saturday. Also on Saturday, the Husky drive was stalled with a tough loss to Broken Arrow in the semifinals. The Huskies finished the dual portion of their season with an overall 10-3 record. This weekend was the regionals tournament at Westmore High School. Each wrestler will have to place in the top five at regionals to qualify for the state tournament. Good luck to our wrestlers. Lastly, we wanted to touch on bowling regionals. However, they haven't happened yet by the time of this reporting, so I don't know if they won or not. So, Dylan, I hope that goes well for you. That's all we have this week. Let's go to Tony and Izzy for weekly trends. Hello, everyone. For this week, we went around asking people to do the Renegade as fast as they can. Unfortunately, some of y'all said no and ran away. Here's the footage for that. Do Renegade as fast as you can. <laughs> okay guys, do the Renegade as fast as you can. Oh, I can't <laughs> Renegade as fast as you can. <laughs> you want to be in the morning announcements? No. Why not? No, no. no. <laughs> Do you want to be on the morning announcements? Do I ever want to be on the morning announcements? <laughs> no. Would you like to be on the morning announcements? No. <laughs> Hey, do you want to do any more announcements? announcements? Yes, we would. No, we're not. <laughs> Stop recording. All right, that's all we got for you this week. Hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to check us out at, on Instagram and YouTube at Husky Network for more content from us. Also, every Monday on Instagram story, we'll be posting a poll so that we can get more ideas from you guys so that you guys can enjoy the content we make for you guys. Stay safe and have a bonkers week, Huskies!